Hi, Bobby Bilt, inventor and professional kidnapper here today with my wildly successful fish belt. Have you ever worried about your fish sitting at home alone while you're off in court? Yeah. I know I have. Have you ever maybe wanted to take your fish out to a neighbor's garage sale and show them off? Maybe you just want to have some kids at the park check it out. Or maybe you're just tired of wearing plain old belts and you want to splash up your fashion. Well, the fish belt is for you. Using my patented portable aquarium technology, the fish belt is now as sturdy as a shoe. Just put your fish inside and take it on a walk. But don't forget to pump in some air periodically. And with the pump string easily within reach, it's as easy as dead people. Yes. Fish belt mania is bubbling across the globe. Join in now for only $19.95. Call within the next hour and we'll send you one for free. Wear two fish belts at once. Also available in select stores. Have your credit card ready. Call 1-800-469-FISH. Today in breaking news, a long-haired Ecuadorian man has started a pro-cow insemination rally around Town Hall. Be sure to check back in with Channel 2 News for more details. Mom and Pop. Yeah, hey, Frank, uh, I'm not going to make it into work today. Why not? Well, let me ask you this. You're going to give me a raise? Because that's pretty much the only thing you can do to keep me working for you anymore. So I suggest from here on out you learn how to flip your own damn burgers because I am done. Screw you. Go to hell. Thank you, Mr. Bill, for taking an interview with me today. It's definitely a pleasure. Oh, the pleasure's all mine. Your commercials have become quite a hit on the internet. What are your thoughts on that? Oh, it's great. It gives my product and me more exposure. Some people have found your sense of humor offensive and coarse. What do you say to them? I say f I had a few inventions that I made for the college demographic. My first invention, the magnetic masturbator. That caught on. It was wonderful. At least the novelty of it for sure caught on. But I made a few other uh, inventions. They were all complete shit though. So I dropped out of college and started inventing full time. Put all my effort into it. And here I am today. Well, have you been surprised by the success of your fish belt? No, I haven't been surprised at all. I mean, fish aren't that far off from being the next dogs, you know. Can you divulge any information on your next invention? Uh, no, but what I can say is that I am working very hard and I do have a few things that I think we'll be seeing very soon in the market. <laughs>
So, if we pull this off right, we all get money from this. Who cares about the fucking money? I'm here for the job, man. This here, this is Old Man Phil's house? Yeah. This is the general terrain of his property, but we need ideas. How are we gonna pull this thing off? Wait, how are we gonna get away with stealing the invention? He's not just gonna let us start selling it. We kill him. Make it look like an accident. Alright, well, the thing is, he hasn't even patented it yet. So, that's what we're gonna do after we steal it. But he can't know it's gone until it's too late. How? What's my name? Dr. G. That's right, and I got a plan here. We'll fucking tie a belt around his neck, pull his pants down, put his cock in his hand, cover him in petroleum jelly, boom, accidental death. Doctor's orders. Yeah, but we can't let it come to that, Doc. This has to be a clean job. In my experiences, they're never clean. Mm. Well, me too. Actually, I've had oral so gross it's been on dirty jobs. Yeah, speaking of those shows, uh, you guys know that Shark Tank one. We can do something like that. Pitch the idea to them. They love it. They build it for us. We get rich. If Bill can do something like that, why can't we? You know what? Let's get some reflective vests. You know, like crossing guards and shit wear. Break into the place at night, we'll be able to see each other much better. I like it. You're an idiot. We need to catch him gone from home and take it when he's not there. Well, you guys know what my dad does. He could use his van, like as a distraction. Yeah, 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 yeah. That big fucking van. We'll fucking fill that bitch full of explosives, drive her right into a fucking synagogue. Hey, Doc. Fantasize later. We can use the van as a distraction if he shows up during the job. I'm not sitting in a fucking van. I'm breaking in. Let's just paint our faces black, kick the front fucking door down. Ooga booga. Yeah, but we don't want to get shot by the cops doing this, okay? Alright, how about this? Let's go there. We'll fucking break every window on his fucking house, right? Scare away all the other other burglars, and he won't know which entrance we came in through. Hell no. This job needs to be done cleanly. Lockpick a door. Hmm. Okay. Alright, so I think this is how it's gonna work. Doc, you and I are gonna enter from the door right here. You mean the front one at the tip of the driveway? No, no, not here at the tip. We're gonna go... We're gonna go in through the back door. Now, Eel, you're gonna be waiting down here in your dad's van for the distraction. But we gotta make sure everything goes smoothly, because if things start to get hairy right about here, we don't want to be balls deep in trouble. I'll be down the street as well. I'll use the reflective vests. And make sure you have your phones on so I can text you if he shows up. You know what else? We should all wear masks. Probably has cameras all over the place. Calm down. You know I gotta smell a place when I rob from it. Fuck the cameras. Yeah, whatever. Alright, well, let's go check in the basement. Most people keep their workshops there. It's probably where he has the invention. The basement, huh? Yep. Yeah, let's go take a look. What does that smell like to you? Kind of like what I would imagine Bill Cosby's basement would smell like. Nah, this is white rape.
see the invention blueprints anything. I guess we should split up and keep looking, huh? Yeah, another plan. What the fuck was that? out of here. Yeah. What the fuck? Get out of the way. Sorry, man. Had a sewage pipe break up the way. Pissing shit everywhere. Official DPW business. I, fuck you, man. I gotta get some groceries in the freezer. Get out of the way. Didn't see him drive by? Give me your phone and drive. No, man, are you the guy with the double headed dragon dildo? Uh, Express delivery? Yeah. Hey, hey, come here. Mm. Okay, so I found these pictures. I don't know what they mean, but mm -hmm. that's all I found. What are you doing? I didn't order any ice sculpture, man. But, no, dude, it's. No, no, wait, off, sir, man. sir. It's a really pretty ice sculpture. I think, I think you love it. I always gotta taste the place when I rob it, you know that. Jeez, are you serious? Speaking, speaking of pictures, I found this. I don't know if it's your blueprint or whatever that is. Uh, oh my god, that's it. Okay, cool. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. oh Jesus fucking Christ, my pissing crate, no! Tell anybody about this, anybody at all, you sick fuck. I'll tell the whole world about your puppies in the basement. Fucking sicko. Thanks, kiddo. Quite a story with that park playground, huh, Pops? Ah, uh, yeah. I can safely say that no responsible adult should let their child play on that thing. Good thing we had a crew out there with, uh, kiddo. Now for your technological news. The company Toilet Labs, using a design by a local group of boys, put a contraption called the peeing crane out on the market recently. Some people have drawn parallels to the work of Bobby Bilth, while others say the work is not polished enough to be compared to his. Either way, early numbers indicate it's struggling to move units. You know, I wonder if it's the marketing. I haven't been very impressed with what I've seen so far. Yeah, it's a good thing. The very thought of you And I forget to do The little ordinary things That everyone ought to do I'm living in a kind of daydream 
I'm happy as a king And foolish though it may seem To me that's everything The mere idea of you The longing here for you You'll never know how slow the moments go till I'm here to you. I see your face in every flower, your eyes in stars above. It's just the thought of you.